in addition to all the other hats that you wear, I think you're a bit of a futurist. What what impact do you think the baby boomers, the fact that we're at peak 65 next year, the year where more boomers will turn 65 than any other year, what impact is that going to have on retirement? You want to hear the good news first or the bad news first? Oh, give me the bad and then we'll wind up on a good note. I think about a half of the boomers are not financially prepared. And I would for the length of life that's in front of them. And we have been very much a live for today generation, you know, be here now, which psychologically is a very cool way to live, but financially it can be a disaster. So I worry about the boomers with regard to how they're going to find themselves with limited financial resources in their later years if they stop working. Mm -hmm. On the good side, the boomers are a high-spirited bunch, particularly the women of this generation, and they have no intention of going to the sidelines. So you're going to see a more active, involved, aspirational, creative, powerful group of women and men in their 60s and 70s and 80s than the world has ever seen. And the marketplace will respond. There will be more interesting housing. There will be more community colleges opening their doors. There will be more health spas offering all sorts of welcoming programs for people who might have had a hip or a knee replaced. You're going to also see breakthroughs in medicine that uh, are going to blow your mind. And so these boomers are going to push markets as they have always done so, but this time from the point of view of older adults, and they're going to create new versions of wellness and new versions of possibilities for older adults.